Hey guys, welcome back to another of my videos. So in this one, we'll be looking at question five and we'll be tackling part A. Okay, so what do we have here? So we're given a figure where we can see that there's a curve intersecting with a straight line. And this curve is given by this y equation here for x greater than minus 2.5. All right, so what do we know? So we know that the point P of x coordinate minus two lies on C. Okay, so we know this one has an x coordinate of minus two, let's just say minus two, question mark, okay? And that's literally all we're given. And uh, we need to find an equation of the normal to C at point P. So the normal of the curve at point P, which we're, where we know X is minus two. And this has to be written in this form. So the, fi the final form is no big deal. We, the whole point is understanding the equation of normal. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is um, find the equation of a tangent. And to find, and then after that, use the perpendicular gradient, and you've, you've done it. So, let's do it. So, first step is to write this one, y equals mx plus c. Okay. Next, then all we need is the perpendicular gradient. So, what is the equation of normal at this point? So, we know the x coordinate is minus 2, so I think it's best to find the value of y, right? So, to find the value of y, all we do is plug in the x value into this equation here. So, we're going to have y equals 2 log and then plug in x minus 2 and get minus 4 plus 5 so log 1 so log 1 is actually 0 so this is actually pretty useful minus 3 times negative 2 over 2 would cancel out and you're left with a positive 3 so it'll be plus 3 so therefore the, the coordinates at p is going to be minus 2 and 3 sweet all right not so bad now, how to find the gradient, okay. All right, so to find the gradient, actually, all we need to do is differentiate this equation because remember, the gradient is the change in y over the change in x, which is the derivative of this. So let's, let's find dy dx. So dy over dx, what's it gonna be? Okay, so to differentiate the log function, all you have to do, so let's, let's write the two first constant. To differentiate the log function, you differentiate the inside and divide it by itself. So the derivative of 2x plus 5 is just 2, and then you divide it by 2x plus 5. That's literally all you do. Next, minus, and the derivative of, of 3 over three x over 2 is just yeah, 3 over 2. Now plugging the value of x so we can get the actual gradient. So at x equals minus 2, the gradient m, so this is the regular grad, the non, the gradient for the tangent, yeah, not the normal. It's going to be 2 times, so it'll be, so, oh yeah, so this will simplify to make 4. So you can, you know, just smash this in your calculator. You'll get negative 4 plus 5, this becomes a 1. So you get 4 minus 3 over 2. And then all you have to do from that point, so 4 minus 3 over 2. You should get 5 over 2, which is your tangent gradient. And then at this stage, finding the perpendicular gradient, you're just going to do, um, the perpendicular, all you have to do is just find the reciprocal and um, flip the signs. So it's going to be minus 2 over 5. And voila, guys. Plug all these values for m back in here, x and y back in here. And yeah, and then solve for c. And then all we have to do is just rearrange this. So therefore, plug in all the coordinates. You're going to get, plug in 3 for y, so you get 3 equals m, the negative gradient, which is minus 2 over 5 times x which is minus 2 plus c now solving for c what should we get so this becomes plus 4 over 5 so it'll be 3 take away 4 over 5 and this should give us a c value of 11 over 5 all right cool cool so i guess we're almost there so now all we do at last is just plug in the grade so now going back to the gradient equation so let me just make a fresh page oops don't need something like that so what do we have so far? Alright, so we have um, going back to y equals mx plus c. Therefore, our final equations be y equals the gradient, which we said was minus two fifths, and c is eleven over five. Minus two fifths x plus eleven over five. Multiply the whole equation by five to get rid of the fraction. We're gonna get five y equals negative two x plus eleven. And finally, making it into ax plus by plus in 2x to give us 2x plus 5y equals 11. And that's it, guys. Hope this video, and that's it, guys. So we're going to look at part b now, yeah?